Hi, welcome to 3D Extra. Today's video will address a very commonly asked question. What resin should I get? The only real answer for this is, it really depends on what you're planning to print. Before I go into an overview of the different types of resins, it is very important to note, all uncured resins are harmful to human health and to the environment. Water washable, standard, eco, whatever. They can and will damage your health if you behave responsibly with them. Always wear gloves when there is potential of exposure to uncured resin and ideally safety glasses. Some sort of breathing protection is also advised, especially if you have a respiratory condition. You're better off safe than with a serious skin condition caused by handling uncured resin. Before even purchasing a resin, it is a good call to have a look at a material safety data sheet. This is a document provided by the resin manufacturer that will give you information such as hazard identification, composition of the resin, first aid measures, firefighting measures, recommended PPE, and many more. These can usually be found on the manufacturer's website, under the product itself, or in the support area of the website. In some cases, you might have to contact the manufacturer directly to receive the MSDS. There is no such thing as a single best resin. It really does depend. What are you printing? How much are you willing to spend on it? What is actually available to you? These are some questions that need to be answered to help you choose what type of resin might work best for you. Even then, you might have to shop around a little bit to find that perfect resin. Resin odor will not be discussed in the video because I find it to be something fairly subjective. It wouldn't be productive for me to say that I find resin X to give off a horrible stench, while to you, it might not smell of anything. Most resins will need a resin solvent to clean up. The most common ones are isopropyl alcohol or ethanol, although some other solutions can be used, such as mean green or other household degreasers. For the purpose of this video, when I mention solvents, I refer to those substances. Standard resins are a good starting off point to get accustomed to MSLA printing, since they're relatively easy to print and are probably the most affordable resin out there. They offer an okay durability as well as an okay quality. Applications for these would be models that aren't handled too much, display pieces, and non-functional prototypes. Water washable resin is very similar to standard. The main difference is that you don't need a solvent to clean the print. It washes up with water, making it a good choice if it's hard to get hold of large quantities of solvent in your area. According to some, the post-process of these prints requires a little more attention, but once you nail that down, it can perform really well. It is very important, and I mentioned this before, just because it's water washable does not mean that it is safe. Water that prints are washed in should not by any means be introduced into the sewage system and should be disposed of accordingly. This is where we start going into a new area. ABS-like resin is a little bit more flexible than the two previously mentioned options. This gives the prints a little more durability at the cost of a small loss of quality. But seriously, unless you're a pedant, this trade-off can be worth it. Without going into specialty resins, this is your best bet if you're planning to print tabletop figures that will be handled often, dropped, or thrown around. It can even be used for some functional prototypes. Modeling resin is a pedant's dream. It'll give you the most high detail prints, and in some cases, the fastest cure times. Although, with the introduction of monochrome LCD machines, this might be a moot point. So why wouldn't you want to make this your go-to resin? Well, they can get very expensive, and the detail can sometimes be achieved at the cost of other resin properties, such as toughness. These resins print at such a high quality that any issue with your machine will become instantly visible. The best application for this is, alongside a 4K machine, making casting masters for larger scale production. Eco or bioresins are quite new to the market and offer generally very similar properties to standard resin. They tend to be made from corn or soya and are marketed to be biodegradable. These resins are supposed to have a less intense chemical odor, which is subjective, and promise to release less harmful vapors than other resins. Their marketing does seem to have a bit of a flaw. They throw around buzz phrases such as no harmful chemicals and eco-friendly, which would make you assume that it's okay to handle without PPE, but these resins are still harmful until they are appropriately cured. If you check the MSDS, it will state that it can cause skin and eye irritation and that it is very toxic to aquatic life, so please be careful. 
This is the last resin type that I think deserves its own section. Engineering resin is the only real choice if you want to use your prints for proper functional purposes. These resins can produce tough, durable prints that will withstand all sorts of abuse. This is a perfect choice if you plan to do product prototyping. Different manufacturers will also try to push the functionality of their resins as far as they can. So you're definitely going to want to shop around to find exactly what suits you. It is also worth mentioning that there are other very specific resins, such as dental, high temperature, casting resins for jewelry, and flexible resins. I will not be going into too much detail about them in this video. To tie this all together, not all resins within their own type are the same. Elegu and Anycubic standard resins, and even different colored resins from the same manufacturer, can have slightly different properties as well as completely different cure times. So your best bet is really going to be narrow down what type of resin will fit your application and then try out different manufacturers until you find exactly what works well for you. If you would like to find out more about how resin actually works, I highly recommend checking out a video by Brent from Goobertown Hobbies where he gives a very detailed explanation on the chemistry of it. You can find the link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've found this useful and keep on printing. Bye.